The mass production of sardines reaching more than 3 million tons globally is set to grow steadily with expectations of hitting 4 million tons by 2032. When fishing for sardines, fishermen use lights at night to attract the fish to the surface. These lights imitate the natural glow of the sardine's food, making it easier to catch the fish. The net used to catch the sardines is a first seine net, specifically designed to encircle and capture entire schools of sardines efficiently. As it is pulled on board, the sardines are directed from the angled surfaces into large storage containers filled with ice. This process is important for preserving the fish's freshness during transportation to the processing facility. Upon arrival at the processing facility, the sardines are removed from their packaging and placed onto various machinery systems. These fish will undergo a comprehensive washing process using cold, fresh water, which effectively cleanses them of impurities, scales, and any residual contaminants. Concurrently, in a distinct section of the facility, an automated system prepares the rectangular tin cans and corresponding labels employed for sardine packaging. These containers, along with the subsequent airtight seals, are then transferred to their specified place, poised for the sardine filling process. The conveyor belt system efficiently transports the washed sardines to a designated sorting area where a skilled team of workers meticulously evaluates each specimen for size, freshness, and species classification, ensuring precise adherence to stringent quality control measures. Once the sorting phase is complete, the sardines are introduced into a machine designed to execute precise incisions and organ removal to undergo evisceration. During the entire procedure, workers diligently oversee the process to guarantee the thorough extraction of internal organs and identify any signs of contamination, promptly discarding any compromised specimens. The thoroughly cleansed and eviscerated sardines are subsequently placed into a large containment unit. The prepared empty cans are delivered to an automated filling machine via power-driven conveyors. This machine is equipped with a specialized feeding unit, 
designed to efficiently transport sardines from the preparation area directly to the filling station. The machine contains hoppers that accurately dispense a specific quantity of sardines into each individual can. This system is calibrated to ensure uniformity in the amount of fish packed per can, which is essential for the product consistency. Subsequently, the cans undergo a sealing process utilizing automatic seaming machines. These machines meticulously create a vacuum seal, an essential feature for preventing contamination and spoilage. Depending on the specific product needed, sardines can be processed in a different way. Once the sardines are delivered to the plantation site, they undergo a thorough inspection where any damaged or low-quality fish are removed. The sardines are washed, and skilled workers manually gut the fish, extracting entrails, heads, and tails with precision. The prepared sardines are then manually filled into the tin cans. These open cans are subsequently grouped together, enveloped in a fenestrated material, and conveyed to the pre-cooking section, where they undergo a process of boiling and steaming, the aim of which is to maintain the firmness of the flesh while enhancing flavor. Following the pre-cooking process, the sardines are filled with sardine oil, which serves both to enhance their flavor profile and to maintain their preservative qualities. Advanced automatic seaming machinery is then employed to securely seal the cans, creating an airtight vacuum seal. This critical procedure is designed to prevent the infiltration of air, thereby significantly extending the product's shelf life. The vacuum-sealed cans are then subjected to intensive sterilization within industrial-grade retorts, which operate at elevated temperatures. This essential step is important in eradicating harmful microorganisms, thereby ensuring the safety and longevity of the food product. In the processing of larger sardines, specialized personnel meticulously examine each fish to identify any flaws or imperfections. At the same time, larger cylindrical tin cans are methodically prepared and conveyed to their respective destinations. The sardines are then transferred to a designated area where they undergo evisceration, which is facilitated by an automated machine. Once the removal of internal organs and heads is done, the remaining parts of the fish are thoroughly washed in preparation for packing into the appropriate tin cans. The prepared sardines are filled into the cylindrical containers, either through manual methods or by employing an automated filling apparatus. Following this, the unsealed sardine cans undergo a preliminary cooking process, during which they are subjected to steaming.
The cans are now sealed using an automated seaming machine, which establishes a vacuum seal before being conveyed into a sterilization unit. In the manufacturing process of sardines, alternative fillers, such as tomato sauce, instead of the traditional options like oil or brine, can be utilized as the liquid medium for preservation. Once the sterilization and cooling processes are complete, the cans proceed to the designated labeling area, where they receive product information, brand logos, and comprehensive nutritional data. This is followed by systematically encasing them in cardboard containers for distribution, a procedure executed either through manual labor or automated systems. To guarantee structural integrity during transit and handling, the cartons are secured with adhesive tape. These boxed units are then organized onto pallets in preparation for shipment, where they are finally loaded onto transport vehicles for immediate distribution. If you're fascinated by the journey of how food goes from farm to table and want to learn more about the production of other foods, be sure to watch our next videos here.